everybody. Well, it, I thought you might like to see the progressing of the two journals that are for the giveaway. One is for the YouTube giveaway and one is for my Instagram giveaway. <clears throat> and so this one, I am going more with a blue, bluish theme, I believe was my idea. And this one, if I recall, was gonna be more of a greenish um, theme, or pink. Must have been pink. <laughs> anyway, I've been working on the embellishments like crazy, and I have got a ton of embellishments ready for both of them to put in. I made some fabric pieces, one for each, and these little things, one for each. And I made these two as well. So I'm super excited about um, getting these put into motion. So those go like that, those two go together. I've got um, cards, these two are um, made to look like they're both of these are playing cards. So these are vintage ones um, for sure. Um, I'm not positive about these little ones. I think they might um, be vintage as well. But I was thinking I would like to stick on some coffee stained reinforcement on that side and I'm not sure I want it on this side so I'm gonna do it and see if I think it looks okay I guess it's all right it's probably not my favorite but it's okay so I thought I would just work on some of these a little bit uh, finishing up embellishing I should have stamped my pages before I put them in here and I did not uh, so I may not even stamp the pages I might just stamp the actual um, embellishments like just a teeny little bitty um, stamp maybe on the corner of this one so there's different things you can do so let's try Let's try a little acorn. I'm just gonna be, you know, doing a bunch of stuff. So let me get a wet wipe ready. Always need a baby wipe on hand when I'm stamping. But um, I'm hoping to get these done the first part of this week so that I can um, get them get the um, giveaway started on both my channels. I have surpassed a thousand barely on Instagram and definitely 2,000 on YouTube and that was kind of what I was waiting for. So I've got two piles going for the two journals so I should just put those piles over here and keep working on this part. So I just want to do a tiny bit of decorating, you know, on each one so that I don't overdo, just to make it kind of little bits and pieces of cute, you know, there we go. So, and I just took, all I did is to, I took a, um, the playing cards and I just sewed on some of my coffee dyed paper. So that's all that that involved. <clears throat> Let me get these <coughs> open the way I want. I've been kind of figuring out embellishments um, as I go make sure I get some cute embellishments going on here and I might I don't know yet for sure on some of this stuff anyway I'm just gonna 
kind of keep working on it and <clears throat> we will see what happens. So I like these two cards. All right, maybe if I have these. So I thought those were super cute little embellishments. Um, I have these pockets. And it's going to be, I think I'm going to glue it on as, um, there'll be a small pocket here, but then I'll glue it um, probably like a, a slip-in type of thing. And um, I'm thinking it might be nice just to put a little, um, a little embellishment of some kind sticking up here. Um, let me see if I can find kind of what might work well. I don't want it to be too flowery. Um, it's kind of a, a sea thing in a way. So if it's a little, if it's too flowery, I don't think it's going to look good. And I, I don't want to detract from it, so I think I'm going to leave these two just the way they are. But I like those. I, I think those turned out good. Um, these I don't need to do anything to except maybe stamping. So I took this from a, a calendar, an agenda. I had, aren't they cute, a bear and a raccoon. And I could just put a little bit of um, embellishment, I think, up up the side I think will be sufficient so or maybe just at the bottom this is the bottom and that way um, you kind of know what the bottom is I think that's probably a good idea okay I like that all right Fold those back up. This one's gonna go here, and this one will go here. Some things don't need embellishment, they're just gonna be like tuck spots. So I have these two, and I think I shall do this with the more water themed, and this with the more bird or nature, woodland, I don't know. Anyway, I have these two as well. Very cute. Um, some things I don't have two of, so I'm just gonna go with this here. Uh, it's gonna be a tuck spot. I've sewn it. I don't need to add to it. I don't need to add to everything. There's just a few things I'm adding to. I do like this, a little bit of lace and a button on these two, which will be tuck, tuck spots or pockets. I'm not sure. This is a double pocket, and I did want to kind of give a, yeah, that gives me my halfway spot. I thought I, would, I should probably just go ahead and put that in. So there, we'll have a little bit, and I think that will be good. I took all kinds of, um, nature type of books to make this stuff. This is just going to be a flip just because it's so pretty on both sides. I just want it to be a flip. It's from an old bird book and it's so pretty. I have this is just um, decoration. Very simple. Um, you can It can be used as a journaling card or else I probably it's going to be a tuck because if I do it, a journaling card I'd have to stick it in this way so the lace was showing up. So I'm going to have to think about how those will look. Uh, we have these two very simple, um, like journaling type cards. And um, maybe I could put something on these more of a little see I'm, oh, I really really like that that's actually very pretty so 
I need to find something pretty for the other one because I think that's a better look, don't you? So let's see. Let's see what we have. Not the blue. Definitely that one looked better. It's kind of an outdoorsy, more of a more of a botanical look. This might this might be okay too. As this might be. Oh, that one's really perfect. There we go. Um, I think I'm just gonna glue them on as kind of a then you can like it can be tucked in to the pocket. I think that would be a good option. So let me get out my glue. And we'll have a little bit sticking up and the rest will just be um, glued down. So make sure I do that correctly. And that it's even like there. Oh, I have to remember to use washi, don't I? It's easy to forget some of this stuff. So I'm going to put something on the back to decorate it. We'll have this one sticking up a little bit more. I just have an idea. I think that's going to work nicely for the back. I think that one looked good. Yeah. This glue dries really fast. Um, let me get out my washi because I think I can put a pretty washi right here and I think I can put a good phrase as well. The phrase doesn't even have to, it doesn't have to go with what I'm doing, but it's just kind of nice to stick a little, little phrase on, you know? Hidden by the shadows. Yeah, I like that one. And... challenge the world let's see that's good okay so um, what I want to do is distress a little I've done all my distressing with frayed burlap for both of these so I just want to kind of distress around the word because otherwise it's really a lot of white you know so let's kind of hide some of that white not let's not lose our word in the process right okay and then I thought maybe just a tiny bit of washi tape would probably um, finish that off um, this would be really pretty wouldn't it put this one on the bird one and I'm just gonna put a little I'm just gonna have it come right to this edge right to that edge um, there we go perfect and then the other one we'll do the butterfly This is such pretty. I think I found this um, for sale at Michael's, these two. And I was so surprised to see them. I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have these because they go perfectly with what I do with, you know, the nature junk journals. All right, there we go. Those two are ready for use. 
Um, I could put a tiny phrase here, but I think, um, let's see what we want to use. Let's put contented spirit. I think that's a nice little phrase for that. Okay, perfect. All right, um, I have these two pieces. <clears throat> and I don't feel like I need to add anything to those. Um, these are going to be different um, belly band type things. So I'm just going to kind of um, divide them up. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Um, maybe these two here and that one there. And then um, these pieces, I'm gonna go this one here, that one there, and those will kind of be belly band type things. I have these two little journaling card type pieces, or they're actually gonna be tuck spots because aren't they adorable? This, this is so cute. I made these as journaling, little journaling, pretty journaling pieces. I think they're really, really cute. These will just be, both of these are simply going to be um, for tucking tuck spots. They might become pockets. These are going to be double pockets, so they each have one pocket and then it will be behind it as well. Um, okay, so these two are separate pieces. Okay, so then I have these two. I really like these as well. These will be little, well, a lot of tuck spots. Um, or it can become a journaling card, I haven't decided. I wanted to make some little tuck spots or pretty things with these pieces as well. They're so, so adorable. Oh my goodness, I, I absolutely love them. So one, two, three, one, two, three. That's a separate piece. These two note cards. Um, I have some glassing bags that I'm going to decorate. So I have these envelope, envelopes from Edith Holden pages. And here's another one. And I have, let me, um, okay, so one and then two. So we'll just kind of um, divide these up these two pieces up. Um, pockets. So these are super cute pockets. And I think I would like to maybe put um, a piece of something on here. So let me see. I think these would be really cute with a little bit of ephemera. I like this pink one. Okay, so I'm going to put this pink one right here, and I'm just going to put it on the bottom because I don't want it to be like <laughs> where it's not supposed to. There we go. So that one, there's one, that'll be really cute. Um, and then this one, kind of like that. That actually kind of goes with, but it doesn't stand up tall, and I kind of want it to stand up. So, let me look a little more and try and find the perfect piece. I like that too, but I really like this purple. Um... Does it go like that? I think so. Let's put this purple on. Okay. There we go. Oh, I better bring that in a little. I don't want to um, have it sticking out too far. I'm going to have to cut off a piece of it. I'm probably going to have to cut a little piece off there. All right. These are also pockets. They'll become like double tuck spot, like spots, tuck spots or pockets. 
same with these. <coughs> so there's going to be just tons of stuff in these. This is a, a kind of a cool little spot for things. And I thought what I would do is just put some washi down on some of this. I've got some of my new washi and it is so beautiful and I would like to lay a strip of it down right here. Cause it's so pretty and this is gonna be like a tuck spot like that. So that will work just fine. So there's one. Isn't that beautiful? This wa this washi is from R. Taylor. Um, Rosie just has the most luscious washi, and I am in love with her washi. Can I say? <laughs> it's the best. It's just the best stuff ever. Okay. So that looks super cute for both of those. Then it's going to be deciding where to put everything. Aha! Aha! Oh, these were the pieces where I'm like, what do I do? I think I'll put these with that one and these with the other one. And now the only thing I have left are um, some bags. And I'm thinking I will put a little reinforced hole on this bag and probably on both sides right this is such a cool it's a cool bag got those at a um, thrift store I just a whole pack of them and I was so thrilled like just to find something like that well, it's just like amazing all right so I have several things I want to do. This one I want to put on um, a little bit of embellishment uh, in the form of some washi. So I'm going to take one of them. It's going to be this beautiful kind of a watercolor type of washi and I will just run it right here. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, and on this one, I'm going to run this washi right here. Oop. Didn't get that quite where I wanted it. Okay, and there, just beautiful. Okay, getting so close to getting these done. I think the next video will probably be a flip through of the two um, journals. Okay, so we have that. Now um, I want to put um, an embellishment, like not an embellishment, I want to put a stamp on here. So I'm thinking this is such a beautiful stamp that one I love 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 this leaf and then I want to put um, a phrase one of my Tim Holtz phrases on here as well and then I got this other one I'm gonna decorate some glassy bags and I think that's probably all I will be showing on line or on yeah on video. But let me get um, uh, let me find a couple phrases that would look nice on here. Let's put this one. Miracles happen when you believe, and we're going to have to distress this because. Otherwise, it's going to be so super white. So, 
We don't want that. <laughs> so we need to distress it. And we're going to just put it like this. And there we go. Super easy. That's all it needs. The next one, sometimes you have to take chances. So let's just distress this baby up as well. We don't want it too white, do we? Mm. All right, and we'll put that one right here. Okay, so these will be adhered in so you can tuck things. And maybe I'll just take some of my coffee stained uh, paper with lines and tuck it in each one. Okay, so the last thing I want to show is um, these cards are actually for the glassine bags. So here's my two glassine bags. Um, I feel like they could use a little bit more color. I'm going to do one blue and one green. And let me get that out. So I will just take my burlap color off and let's do the blue. So it's a beautiful broken china. This is such a pretty blue, you guys. It's so beautiful. Just love it. And then I just adhere this glassing back to the page. And it just looks, it looks nice. I like, you know, I just like it. And that's going to be this one. So that means I'm going to go ahead and distress around this part. Because I want it to look like this is where it goes, okay? Let's just do that guy up a little. Okay, there we go. And then it gives it kind of that bluish, you know, so it looks like it belongs. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, that guy's done. Now let's take the green this side and this is peeled paint and we'll just kind of go and distress the glassine bag just a little bit with the peeled paint there we go and I will take this little guy here and we'll just use that same color and distress the paper and the butterfly and the flower die cut as well so that it is matchy a little matchy I always like a little a little matchiness all right I like that so in case I have to do any more, let's do that. All right, so the only thing um, I want maybe is a little word. Um, a little bit of a word on these. I like this one. This one says, whisper to my heart. So let's just put that right here at the top. And we're just gonna give that a little touch of this particular stain. Just so it blends in a tiny bit. And then this one. Let's put a wonderful creature and we'll put that one right here okay and we'll just do a little distressing this one as well always helps there we go super easy okay so I have that <clears throat> All right, and then this just gets glued on. 
and I'm just gluing, I'm only going to glue the paper. I don't, I'm not going to glue anything else, just the paper. And I'm going to put it right about here. And then I'll tuck um, some paper or something in here uh, for writing. So we'll glue that on. Okay, oh, a little bit in the middle. Don't want to miss um, the parts I'm supposed to be gluing on here. All right, and this will just go right here. So those are all set. Um, the only other things that needed a little changing up were um, these. I like to put um, a brad, a small brad in these and and then that's how I actually attach it to the book page is with a small brad. Um, I should look and see what time it is but I will just um, punch a hole like um, punch a tiny hole because it's going to be a tiny brad so I'll just do this and I just go in the middle right about there punch a little hole and then I come to this one punch a little hole and then I just it's so easy to just slip it um, on the page where it needs to go and it looks really good and it looks really cute too so yeah those will hang from the pages so I think that's all. I am going to decorate, put all this stuff on the page, and then, <laughs> excuse me, I'll come back and do a flip through of the journals. Okay, bye.